in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get a ice cream sandwich ROM up and running on the AT&T uh, Galaxy S2 and the Rogers Galaxy S2. Um, it has been confirmed to work on both the AT&T and Rogers version and essentially um, first thing you have to be rooted of course you must have recovery up and running on your device um, for Rogers users if you want to know how to root follow this link here and for AT&T and Rogers users to install recovery on your device follow the link here okay I don't have the root method on how to root the um, AT&T version so sorry about that okay so uh, let's get the warnings over and done with first first off by trying to flash a custom ROM you could damage your device permanently so you're following this video at your own risk and I am not the developer of any of these um, methods all credit goes to MHX on XDA developers if you have any problems with uh, flashing the ROM post in this thread um, this will be the first thread I link in the YouTube description and um, you must download all three files here if by chance they're not available, if the, the links are down, let me know and I'll repost them uh, in a brand new link in the description. And you must also... It is recommended that you get Darkseid. I am not the developer of Darkseid either. It's the Derek J. So all credit goes to him for that. And if you have any problems flashing Darkseid, um, do not contact me. Again, contact the developer of Darkseid and post in this thread for any questions about that. Um, so you must also download this file if you scroll down a little bit. Again, if it's not available, if the download link is not working, I will post a new link later on. So, uh, let's get into it. Uh, just to let you know, this is the first time I'm doing it for the device myself, so hopefully everything works. Actually, the only reason this will be on YouTube is if everything does end up working. Okay, um, oh! forgot to mention when you download all the files so three for the um, three for the ice cream sandwich ROM and then one for dark side you must have four in total I suggest you put it anywhere and together on your desktop and then copy it to the internal SD card of your phone I forgot to mention that reboot into recovery and then we're gonna actually start uh, the actual method itself okay so before we actually begin, I suggest you back up your entire device with titanium backup while it's obviously booted normally. Um, if you've done that already, if you don't want to, you can back up with recovery. Um, if the camera will focus... Uh, well, I'll just read it to you. Uh, hit backup and restore, and then you can select. If you select backup, it'll go to your external SD card. If you don't have one, hit backup to external, oh uh, sorry, backup to internal SD card. It'll make an exact duplicate of your phone. Other than that, go back. So this is the root menu. Uh, what we're going to do now is flash the dark side first. Remember, this will wipe all data, everything on your phone. You have been forewarned to back up everything, okay? So, uh, install zip from SD card. Uh, choose zip from SD card. Oops, that's external. Choose zip from internal SD card, sorry, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm using touch recovery, that's why I have to scroll down and find it. Okay, we're gonna hit dark side zip. You're gonna scroll down to yes. Remember, I'm doing this for the first time, so like I said, fingers crossed this will all work. If it's on YouTube, that means this all works successfully. Darkseid is basically a um, a super way of deleting everything because it turns out that it Rogers and uh, Gingerbread users, while trying to flash the ROM, it tends to have a problem. Uh, flashing Darkseid first tends to erase everything guaranteed. So we will continue from there. Okay, Darkseid is finished. So now what we're going to do is flash the um, modem. So what we're going to do is choose it from internal SD card, scroll all the way down. Um, keep in mind here, none of them actually say uh, modem of the four zip files that we downloaded. Uh, so the one you need to download, let me just double check, is ice cream, 
icsradio.zip hit yes and we'll continue from there okay so now that the modem is done we're gonna wipe everything again as I said we we're going to so hit back okay now we're gonna hit wipe data factory reset scroll down hit yes and this will take a little while and we'll continue after this is done okay from the main menu you're gonna hit mounts and storage uh... where is it you're gonna hit format system maybe i need my glasses on right now stupid contacts oh here it is format system hit yes okay it's done go back so this is the root menu again this time uh... like i said if the camera doesn't focus i'm reading them out loud on purpose so you can follow along uh... this time we're gonna hit advanced wipe dalvik cache hit yes dalvik cache wiped so far so good okay uh... go back Install zip from no, no, no that's not right. Oh yeah, install zip from zip card, install from internal SD card, and go all the way down again. As you can see I'm getting a I'm just sighing a lot because there's so much scrolling and I'm doing this for the first time. Okay, so now what we're gonna choose is the I seven two seven eighteen T blah blah blah. Yes. Uh, this might take a while, so we'll continue when it's finished. Okay, there is one more step that is only um, specific to gingerbread users. If you're an ice cream sandwich user, you can just simply um, restart the phone. Uh, but like I said, for gingerbread users, this is what you have to do. This is what the last zip file is for. Um, you're going to choose, where is it? Choose it from internal SD card. Go all the way down. Okay, you're gonna flash the kernel, ROM racer dash kernel dot ice cream sandwich unsecure. Hit yes. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that again because the developer has noticed that many users have complained that um, for Rogers and Gingerbread users that the kernel doesn't seem to flash properly. Um, in fact, the developer recommends you do this entire, the whole, the whole video I've done so far, three times over. Um, I'm just going to do it like this and hope that it works. Um, one last time. Because it seems that the kernel has the biggest problem uh, in terms of flashing for some reason. And... Uh, like I said, the developer has said at this point that when you restart the device, it could take up to five minutes to restart. Um, the fact that this video is on YouTube means that I have been using it for about a week now, and it means that it's also extremely stable. I only like to use stable ROMs. I don't like to use ROMs that are buggy. I'm not the, the uh, experimental type. Uh, phone calls, Bluetooth, GPS, everything you can think of um, for daily use works. Okay, uh, at the last minute I decided to change my mind and show you that the phone actually works. I have been using the um, Ice Cream Sandwich AT&T ROM for a while now. Th this is not what it's going to look like. Uh, I purposely duplicated the Galaxy Nexus UI by downloading Go Launcher and an Ice Cream Sandwich theme and of course the live wallpaper all from Google Play. So this is not what it looks like. I, I just I can't stand the touch with UI. Um, there's something really important I had to mention that I was a victim of and other people is that by flashing this ROM, the home button stopped working and I found a fix for it as well as others did. The best thing to do is to just go to your phone settings, back up and reset, and factory data reset. I personally had to data reset. Oh, that was too close. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, <laughs> wow. I had to data reset about two times to make the home button work. Um, one of the user had to report about three times. So the most anyone has had to do it is three times. So when the phone starts up, you're going to get this AT&T gibberish. I suggest you just skip it because I hate AT&T bloatware, any mobile carrier bloatware. And the first thing you should do is just swipe the screen over to the left or right, hit the home button, 
and see if it works. If it doesn't work, data reset it right away because you have no data on the phone to lose anyway, right? So that's the first thing you should do. Uh, I felt that I had to mention that because, I mean, the home button is really important, especially for the ice cream sandwich task manager. If you just hold the home button, there's a task manager. So it, it's, it, it is indeed very important. Uh, so I just felt I had to mention that. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my website for technology news and rumors. And thanks for watching.